I experience screaming voices. People don't believe how insane I am. And it was, it was terrifying, totally manic or totally depressed. And it, you know, it wasn't him, the Adam we knew. I just wanted a car to hit me or a truck or just something to take me out because this time I wanted to, to really work. I really felt like I needed to end my life. I felt like I was this complete failure. So I was in really bad bad shape and the mental health system only made that worse. It's a mythology to think that there's the normal and then there's the abnormal. The average recovery rate in the Western world with all our sophisticated diagnoses and medications and highly paid experts is about one third. The recovery rate in the developing world is about two thirds. Where does somebody who's in this delicate state, you know, they're in a process. They're sent to prison, they're sent to jail, they're sent to a psychiatric ward, or they're chemically incarcerated, or they're homeless. In the United States, we've come to believe in the chemical imbalance theory of mental disorder. Th these medicines are very, very powerful in helping, but they can be very powerful in harming. I mean, like the disclaimer on these pills, that's typically the first side effect is suicidal thoughts. And that's what the doctor is giving you to feel better. I mean, it's, it's crazy. We live in a psychotic society. We do. And what is, what is meant by psychotic? Out of touch with reality. How mental illness is constructed in different places in the world is very, very different. Only in the Western world have we developed this bizarre idea that hearing voices and having strange ideas has no meaning at all. My human rights work has taken me to indigenous and tribal cultures around the world. Often I met individuals who would go into a trance-like state to serve as a healer or visionary for their community. These are the people we call shaman. And I was surprised to learn that many were identified in their youth by having what we would call a psychotic break. Hearing voices, having visions, feeling terrified, I was struck by how differently these symptoms were looked at in our culture. We have lost touch in our medical system from some of the simple needs that people have for connection, the simple needs that people have for community. Maybe it's not just a broken brain. Maybe it's not just an illness. Maybe this is not just something to hide and be ashamed of. Maybe it's something to explore and learn from.